We are live. Hi guys. Welcome to Monday Motivation with me, your girl Om Plaza. And in today's Monday Motivational Message, we are talking about expecting the new. So, we are in a new month. Happy November, everybody. We are in November. Like, can you believe that we're in the second last month of the year? And with me, some of you may know and some of you may not know, like every month at the beginning of every month this year, since the beginning of this year, I said that in order for me to make this year my year, in order for me to make 2023 my year, I always created a theme for each month. And this month, now that it's November, it's no different. Like I have a theme for this month and this month's theme is November. Because as I said, 2023 is my year and how I make sure that this year becomes my year is that every month I set challenges or themes for me to improve myself so that I can take steps to reach my goals and my dreams. And yeah, we are in a new month and it's November and now it's November. So that now that we're in November, the reason why I created this theme for this month welcome to the live please make sure to share this live to anyone you know who needs a new fresh anointing for this last two months of this year i have a message on expecting the new but me creating this theme of november i think for me on the first of november when the start of the month happened as i said like the secret hack on how your dreams can come true is fasting and I gave you guys my secret and how like I've been seeing my dreams come true as in fasting so this beginning of the month was no different as usual I have my fast and when I was fasting I think God was speaking to me in that time like when you fast it's like when you the closest you can be spiritually with God because you're denying like your flesh denying your hunger denying like the necessary things like food or water so that you can grow your spiritual life right and in the first of November I was doing my usual uh, fast and God just spoke to me in that time in that day on the first of November and he was saying new things are coming in your life new things are coming in your life new opportunities new growth new goals, new mindset, uh, uh, new opportunities, new life. And he literally told me to expect the new. In order to expect this new thing, you have to forget the old. And in this live, I'm going to talk about that new things are not only coming into my life, but I want you, all my listeners, anyone who looks at my, uh, listens to my podcast, my Monday Motivation Lives on Instagram or TikTok, to start expecting the new in your life. I'm going to share this live with more people. Please make sure you share this live. But we are talking about expecting the new in this November month. That is the theme. And also, I created a challenge. So I'm going to talk about the challenge that I created as well for this month. And we're going to go in details about this. But before we do, please share this live with anyone you need know who needs some inspiration, some motivational message for this month. Um, now that we're in November, right? I think with this whole theme of November... I learned so many things new with the number 11, right? Or the number one. And I want to share this on my podcast. So you know that I created this theme of November. But November is actually the 11th month of the year, right? And since it's the 11th month of the year, God kept showing me 11, 11. I don't know, but in the last few days of October... And you know, we had Optimize October last month. If you don't know what we did in Optimize October, please make sure to listen to those messages. But in the end of the last few days of October, I think for me, God kept showing me the number 1111. And at that time, it's October, right? So I was like, okay, that's there's nothing to it. I just keep seeing 1111. And I've, I've always grown up seeing 1111 a lot. And a lot of people were telling me that 1111 is the angel number. And in the, I think, I think it was Halloween weekend. I don't sell her very Halloween, but I think it was around holiday, hol, Halloween weekend. I think that Friday where God like gave me like a prophetic word 
through like a, a YouTube video or something like that. And this lady was talking about 1111. And she described how 1111 is the angel number. And I want to discuss this about the angel number, right? Now that we're in the 11th month, and now that I've also created this 1111 challenge, I want to explain to you what the angel number is. So what the angel number means is that it means you're ready for the next step or next stage in your life. Your goals will be achieved if you take what God has to offer. This gives you hope when you've lost hope and reminds you that your prayers are about to be answered by God himself. When I read up about that, because I, a lot of times God will give me signs and I always have to like back it up with scripture. I always have to back it up with my spirit. I always have to back it up with, you know, searching and like studying because I some, sometimes just want to make sure that what God is speaking or saying to me is true, right? So God said that you know that God is one, okay? God is one. One representing one God. And in three ways. God is one represented in three ways. God the Father, God the Son, which is Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. So he said this 1111, which is the angel number, is showing me that angels are protecting me and that God is about to take not only me, not only me, but anyone who wants to seek hope in him anyone who wants to see no new in their life anyone who wants to forget the old and see new in not only just this year and this month in 2024 because we know that the new year is like knocking on the door like 2024 is right next door we know that so god was like anyone expecting the new that this 11th month of the year this 11 11 that i've been seeing that is an angel number is that God is about to take you to the next stage in your life. But I realize in order for us to go to the next stage, you have to forget the old. God is bringing like a new thing for a lot of us in these last two months. And I feel like a lot of us want new things in our life. And I think a lot of us want our prayers to be answered. A lot of us want to see change in our life. A lot of us want our dreams to come true, but we still have the old person or the old habits that we've been having. And God said to me like, oh, I want to motivate you to realize that you can't expect something new to come into your life if you're still bringing the old. If you're still doing things that you think doing things the way you've been doing your whole life and you still haven't seen a change. If you're listening to this message and you still haven't seen a change in your life it's because God is saying in order for you to expect new life, new opportunities, new love, new life, new goals, new strength. You have to forget the old. You have to remove your old ways. You have to do things differently and sometimes doing things differently and seeing a change in life needs to be done through God. It needs to be done through God. You got to forget your old ways. And in doing so, I said on, I think Friday, that's when I came onto my Instagram and on my TikTok. I said to my followers, like, God is bringing something new for all of us. And all of us are some seeking something new in our life. But the reason why all of us are not getting the breakthrough or getting the thing that we're praying for is because we're still using our old mindset. We're still using our old ways of doing things. We're still behaving in ways that are old or detrimental to where God wants to take us. And why God is not taking us where he wants to take you is because you're bringing the old bad habits or you're still stuck in your old ways that are not impacting you positively in your life. So God can't bring the new in your life or bring the answered prayers into your life or bring what he's already planted in your heart, your heart's desires, because you still stuck in your old ways. You still stuck in the old mindset of doing things, the old ways of thinking, the old ways of thinking of what people in this world are doing. And if you are expecting for like something new in your 2024 or new in this month, this 11th month, you have to do something new. So I was like, me seeing this and me like, getting this revelation i think um because i'm also seeking new in my life especially when you like start changing how you 
think of things and how you behave in life and start growing and focusing yourself, improving yourself and actually developing your relationship with God, God will speak to you more than you will ever expect in your life. So me, me with my growth journey this year in this podcast, as you've been seeing, I've been growing with God and he's been telling me where to go and what not to do and what to do. And my heart posture has changed. So now God is like expecting, he's about to give me the new, right? But he was like, I can't just do it for myself. I can't just be like, okay, I'm expecting the new and forget all my listeners or all the people who are still seeking new in the life, in this life. And that's why he also, despite it being November, he also told me that we need to create a challenge. Okay. So the last time I did a challenge was the jogging challenge. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a jogging challenge. The OG listeners will know about the jogging challenge. And in this jogging challenge, basically, I jogged for 21 days and it was like three miles per day. And I did it. And it just was like my journey in life and like how sometimes the routes that we go through in life seem difficult, but more, the more we like, Uh, improve the more we do it the more we practice things it's not that the route becomes easier or it's not that life becomes easier we just become better equipped in the journey that we're on because we're building our habits we're consistent we um healing we're doing things that are necessary so that even though life is hard we still continue with our journey not that life is easy but we are better to equipped to handle things that we face in our life right so we did that 20, 20 21 day jogging challenge that's the last time i had a challenge i think these past months i haven't had a challenge i just basically had a theme but this month god said since we're in the 11th month and 11 11 is the angel number he said 11 11 challenge so I told y'all on Friday that we're gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all what the 1111 challenge is. If you know on my Instagram story, I told y'all what I, I, I'm gonna tell you what the 1111 challenge. So I finally have what the 1111 challenge is gonna be. And I really hope that if you are someone seeking new in your life and you're listening to this, whether it's on my live on Instagram, whether it's on this podcast and you're hearing this and you know in your heart of heart that you wanna like change your ways, or you want something new to happen in your life that God wants to like that you are tired of where you at in life and you're tired of doing the same thing over and over again you're tired of the things the way things are this message is for you this message is for you to start expecting the new and how you can do it is through this 1111 challenge also if you're listening to this and um November has passed because I think lately I've been listening to a lot of messages And sometimes messages can be like two years later or like had been two years ago and I'm only listening to it now or like a few months ago and I'm only listening to now. Sometimes God gives you a message for a reason and sometimes it's not on the timing that the message was produced. It's the timing that he wants you to hear it. So this 11-11 challenge, if you are hearing this now and it's not November, it's you're assigned to still do it. This 11-11 challenge, God is a God of perfect timing. And the timing that he allows you to hear this message is the timing that you need the message the most. Okay? So in this 11-11 challenge, let's get into it. Okay? So for the next 11-11 11 days, right? Starting from the 11th of November. Currently, it's Monday, the 6th of November. And... This 11 challenge is going to start on Friday. Friday is the 11th of November. 11 days of expecting the new. So what I want you to do in this challenge is, number one, write what you want to see a breakthrough in your life. What area in your life that you want to see a huge breakthrough in your life? Write down that's in your journal, whether that is a, a spiritual journal, whether that's your prayer journal, whether that's your journal, normal journal, write it down and be specific with God. Be so specific. Like if you want to see a financial breakthrough, what do you want to pay off? What, what, what car you want to have? What, 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 um, things do you want to be able to pay for? What, what do you want to use your money on? Like be specific. What are you seeking a breakthrough in? A lot of times, 
I have said this and I've been very transparent in my podcasts and in my messages that I'm seeking a financial breakthrough because I know the things that I want to be able to be financially free so that I can be able to pay for my family, pay for my friends, pay uh, debts or pay all these things. That's the breakthrough that I'm seeking in my life. You may be asking for a, 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 a relationship breakthrough. Be specific on the person you want and to seek in your life. You may be asking for a, a work-wise breakthrough to get that job. Write specific what type of job you want to see or what you want to get. The opportunities. Write down the goals. Be specific, okay? Whether that's also like if you want to study, where would you want to study or what you want to study in and what you want to do. Be specific. If you're expecting the new, give your desires to God. Write it down. Okay? So, number one, write it down. The next thing is read from 1 Corinthians. Now, for me, I've been on my Bible study, you know, um, trying to improve and make sure that I do a Bible study. Because I feel like the closer you get to God, the more great life is. And I want to know the word more. That's my goal. So, one thing that God also gave to me is to read from 1 Corinthians, a chapter each day. So, each day read 1 Corinthians. And why it's so specific for this book in the Bible is because this book in the Bible covers a lot of issues relating to life, how to live as a Christian, wisdom, marriage, singleness, freedom in Christ, your spiritual gifts, and what it means to be new. That's why you got to read 1 Corinthians, a chapter each day. So, because 1 Corinthians literally explains about how we should live as new Christians, how we should live saved, how we should live if we um having desires or what, what we want to see in our life, you know? So, 1 Corinthians, read 1 Corinthians. Another thing is, write in your prayer journal the interpretation of each chapter. So each day, whether that's you have a Bible study in the morning or whether you have a Bible study before you sleep. I usually do it before I sleep. But each day, after you read a chapter a day, write it down in your prayer journal, your interpretation of it. Then... A minimum of 11 minutes of exercise each day. I think this is easy. Okay. This is not like 30 minutes. But God wants you to be healthy. God says that your body is your temple. Like we all know that. So I think that in this next 11 days. Starting from the 11th of November. For the next 11 days. Just a minimum of 11 minutes each day. Dedicated to exercising. Dedicated to walking, running, lifting, high intensity workouts, whatever you choose to do. But it's movement of your body. Okay? Take care of your body. Okay? The next one is to watch a sermon a day. So, I think that sermons in the fields or things that you are currently trying to heal from, trying to um, be gain more understanding in, will help you. One thing I do is whenever I'm going through something, and I've done it a lot of times when I've been in down seasons in my life, is that I I use YouTube as my like spiritual guide. I used, literally said, how can I heal? Sermon on how to heal this. Sermon on this. Sermon on this. Be specific on what you want to watch in a sermon, and you will get inspiration. You'll get motivation. So each day, instead of watching that Netflix show that you're constantly binging on, I know that we at least have like 30 minutes each day where we watch something or watch a series or watch a show. Dedicate that to watching a sermon. This is why it's a challenge. This is a 11-11 challenge. It's going to be hard. It's, it's going to be hard, but I know that a breakthrough will come if you do these things. So watch a sermon each day and write down what you get from that sermon into your prayer journal. The final step for this um, challenge is is the Daniel fast. So now the Daniel fast, I'm going to spend a few minutes on this because this is the crucial part. If you have not heard about my secret hack of how you can reach your dreams, I spoke about fasting, right? And one of the fasts that I talked about was the Daniel fast, right? Now the Daniel fast is a biblical based um, fast often performed between 10 to 21 days. 
And the goal of the fast is not to be like healthier or lose weight, but to draw closer to God. And in this Daniel fast, you basically eat vegetables and fruits only. Now, I'm going to back this up with scripture because I said in one of my money motivations, a lot of times I motivate, but I don't back it up with scripture. But I'm going to back it up with scripture, okay? So there are two types of Daniel fast. There's two times. There's two times Daniel fasted in the Bible. If you go to the book of the Bible of Daniel, you will see that there was Daniel 1, Daniel chapter 1, Daniel did a 10-day fast. So basically what happened was the king of Babylon defeated um, the land of Judah and he took captives, um, he took young men, captives of young, I mean, they, ooh, hold on. He took the young men of Judah as captives and he then took them to ba- Babylon, right? Where he then trained them to fight for his army. And a part of these men in fighting for the, uh, these young men taken from Judah was Daniel, Han- these biblical names, Daniel, Hanea, Michelle, and Azara. Azara. Okay, so there were four of them. And when training, the official was ordered by the king to give the young men um, uh, food of their land and wine. But Daniel and his friends were um, like, we don't want to participate and eat the food of this country. Can we please just eat fruits and vegetables and only drink water, right? And God allowed the official to show Daniel favor. So the official allowed Daniel and um, his friends to only eat vegetables for 10 days. Daniel said, test us and see like how we will be. Like we'll still be strong. We'll still be healthy. And I feel like we'll be better nourished than the other men. So the official, he said, I'd bet, got you. Allowed them to eat the vegetables. And then um, after eating the vegetables, after the 10 days training period, when the king came and looked at the young men, Daniel and his friends were the ones who looked more healthy, more strong, and more better than the normal, the other men who were just eating the royal food, who were eating, drinking wine. So that is Daniel fast number one. That one was the 10 day fast, right? Then the second fast that is talked about in Daniel is the Daniel um, in Daniel 10, when in Daniel 10, verse 1 to 3. So Daniel had a vision of the future, right? And he had a vision of future times of war and hardship. And as you can see, there's a lot of war and a lot of turmoil and a lot of destruction and hardships that are currently happening in life, especially at this point of the year, especially all the things that we're seeing on the news. It's, it's, it's very heartbreaking, all the things that are currently happening in life. And so in Daniel 10, you can see that Daniel mourned for the vision that he had, the future of wars and hardships that are going to happen. He mourned by fasting for three weeks where he ate no rich foods, no meat or no wine. He only ate vegetables for three days. So that's the 21 day fast. So as I said, Daniel chapter one, he had the 10 day fast. And in general chapter 10, you can see he had another fast, which was a 21 day fast. And in both of the fasts, he didn't eat any food um, that were processed. He didn't eat the royal food. He didn't drink alcohol. So what I'm telling you guys and saying about this is that God in the spirit of the 1111 challenge is the crucial point is fasting in order for the breakthrough that you're expecting or the new thing to come into your life, right? So the foods that in the next 11 days, from starting from the 11th of November, the challenge I'm doing, and I would like anyone who is expecting new in their life, anyone who wants to remove the old, anyone who wants to grow themselves in this season, this fast, you will see a breakthrough in your life. So in this Daniel fast, it's 11 days. There's a 21 day fast and there's a 10 day fast. But God specifically in my heart, um, he said that I should do the 11 day fast. And if you guys have something in your spirit that's telling you, okay, I'm going to do the 21 day fast. I'm going to do the 10 day fast. But in this challenge, this 11, 11 challenge is the 11 day Daniel fast where you only eat fruits. The foods that you can eat is fruits, vegetables, whole grains. So whole grains are food from the soil. Like you can get like brown rice that's from the soil, 
Uh, then you also get nuts and seeds uh, and only water. That's all you can drink. Foods you can't eat in this fast that we're doing for this 11-11 challenge is no meat, da no dairy products, no alcohol, no bread, no processed feed, food, no deep fried food, no coffee, no tea, no herbal teas, and no energy drinks. Now, why I'm saying this is that sometimes when we are removing our flesh and then connecting spiritually with God, that's when he will speak to us and tell us what we need to do for our next step in our life. A lot of us are struggling and a lot of young people are struggling to discover themselves, to find themselves, to understand what is the next step they need to take in their life or to um, uh, struggling to get the new in life, new opportunities because they are not connected spiritually with God, right? And the person who created you was God. So why not in this 11-11 challenge, just 11 days where you are dedicated to a time where you pray you fast you exercise you write down your notes you write down your prayers and each time also another thing that i want to say each time you see the time 11 11 pray 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 over your dreams pray over your things you've written down because i am expecting the new in the season but in order for me to expect the new i have to forget the old and my old ways of doing things is that i never did the daniel fast i never really fully understand understood the daniel fast but god was saying in order for you to expect the new onke in your life you got to forget the old ways of doing things and saying i'm not going to learn how to do it i'm not going to fast i'm not going to do this because i don't want to do it it's hard for me you got to forget the old you have to forget the comfort you got to you have to forget the i'm too young you have to forget the um i'm not ready you have to forget that no god this is not you have to forget the old way of thinking old things so you can see new old ways of doing things because those old ways you've been doing things haven't been leading you to your breakthrough and in this season in order for you to lead into your breakthrough this 11 11 challenge will allow you to understand where god is taking you and allow you to grow a new strength i know that i'm going to get a new strength after doing this daniel fast for 11 days that i've never done in my life and i'm scared at the same time because i was low-key like god i, I don't want to do this but god kept showing me because I think even two weeks ago, my friend wanted us to do a detox where we only ate fruits and vegetables. And at first, I didn't want to do it because I was like, I don't want to do fruits and vegetables for two weeks. I'm like, I don't want to do it. I said no that time. And then I eventually like, okay, I'm going to do it. And then she fumbled with the, the whole detox thing. And then I decided to give up on it. But God kept saying, reminding me, hey, Onke. That was just the sign. That was a small sign. And God will always give you signs of things that he wants you to do. So that was the first sign. And then again on TikTok, I was scrolling. And then I saw again, a girl did a Daniel fast. And I was like, oh my gosh, God, I, I, I'm seeing this again. Like, what are you trying to say? So sometimes you're trying to say no, trying to like ignore the signs, trying to like not see the signs. And God will keep showing you the signs that, yes, you got to do this fast. So God kept showing me the sign. I saw a TikTok the other day and the girl was doing a fast of just eating fruits and vegetables and only drinking water and doing sermons and writing her goals and spending time with God. And God was literally showing me in this moment that I have to do it. And then in this morning when I woke up, he reminded me again of this Daniel fast. And ultimately, it's something that is, I'm not comfortable with. I've never done this before. But I'm being transparent with you guys. If you want to join me and expecting the new in your life, please do this challenge with me. And I'll be your accountability partner. You got me here. And this is something new that I haven't done. But I have to do the new, do things differently that I have never done in my life in order for me, for God to bless me with the new. I can't sit there and expect the new in my life, but I'm still doing the old things. I'm still staying in my comfortability. I'm still doing the things I've been doing for the past 24 years of my life that I still haven't seen a breakthrough in. So if you want a breakthrough in your life, I really recommend join me on this 11-11 challenge and... Yeah, we are going to see God giving us the new opportunities, the new life, the new things are coming into your life. The new, new love, new life, new 
goals, new strength. It's about it's it's November. It's November season. It's a it's the season of new. So in order for you to expect the new, you got to do this 1111 challenge. And if you just joined this live, I'm going to say this on my page and please make sure that you listen to the full live and once you listen to it, let me know if you're joining and my DMs are open as always. I will see you guys next week. It's November 1111 challenge starting on uh, Friday, but I will be posting every single day. I will be posting. That's another thing. I will show you guys that I'm doing it. And yeah, we're doing it together. And God is about to do something new in my life. And he's about to do something good in, new in your life. So let's continue to push for our dreams. Okay. Bye-bye.